Hello! And welcome back. You might be surprised to hear that I'm surprised. Because I am surprised. Because I have, uh... I'm just doing a cheeky one. A little cheeky little, uh... A little, uh... A little video for you all. Because... Well, I've got a few revelations for you. The first one... The first revelation is... I think I deduct better with alcohol. And you better believe that this is the end of my gin. And there was two plus shots in this here vessel and boy crikey am I thirsty so using the power of alcohol oh boy that is strong <laughs> we're gonna use this to help our deductive abilities because I think I do better when I'm slightly drunk to be honest so I think those uh, those synapses are dulled enough to make connections without overthinking things perhaps um, so that is the first revelation. The second one. The second one is a shame. A shame upon my family. A shame upon me. And a shame upon the Oberdin community out there. I know you've uh, you've got you've had high hopes, and I've let you down. And I apologise to myself. I apologise to you, and uh, I apologise to the the people on this ship who I have been unable to identify for some time now. I will explain to you what I've realised by going to the memory. Um, <laughs> the problem is, is remembering where the memory is. Okay, like, hold on a second. Let me just... Uh, let me just see if I can find it where I think it is. Right, I think I do know where I, th I think it well. <laughs> it might well be based around our good friend, the shitted, shitting artist, who was taken from us too soon, uh, in the most despicable way. The Kraken, you know, you didn't give him any any honours by the way that he he left him. Basically, we feel bad for him. Ghost door over here, and here he is, the shitting artist himself. We don't need to listen to his final moments. But we're going to hear them anyway. <laughs> here we go. This is what we've been looking for. This over here. So, as we, we may remember, this is Martin Parrot. We know it's Martin Parrot. I'm pretty certain because uh, when Abigail died, she said, Martin! In a Scottish accent. That wasn't a Scottish accent, but if you imagine it was. Let's just wait for the noise to subside because... Yeah, that was kind of ruining it, I think. So, the music is good, but the noise was no good. So, as we can see, we know this is Martin Perra. Um, I'm almost certain he hasn't been ticked off. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. And maybe that does mean that we don't know who Martin Perra is. But, the point I'm trying to make is he's the third mate, if it is Martin Perra. Now, if he is Martin Perra, then this guy we thought was like a servant. Or a sort of like some sort of lower in command than Martin Parrot. And in the previous episode, which I've, <laughs> I've seen in recent times, we've entirely skipped over the fact that there is a steward for each mate. And we've even got it for this guy because we knew it was Paul. So, therefore, <laughs> using this new information, what we're going to do now is trying to go back. And try and fit in some of the stewards because undoubtedly I mean look at them they're next to each other for God's sake you know it's, it's gotta be it's gotta be hasn't it it's just if it isn't you just you don't know what to think so this geezer here well actually we don't even know who he is <laughs> so that's not gonna give us anything but 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 wait there just wait there one darn second <laughs> you know what, I'm not sure if we can find too many more in this information, but nonetheless, it is valuable information. I'm sure you will all agree. And um, I can only apologise that it's taken me this long to realise it, is all I'm going to say. Uh, because undoubtedly there are, there are people out there that we should have understood uh, where they are. This bit, unfortunately, I've got no, I've got nothing for you for this bit as to uh, 
the whereabouts of the of the surgeon uh side parting simon i believe uh as he's sometimes known these two lovely ladies who we a don't know which one's which and b we don't know where they are uh we do know one of them shot a guy but again we don't know where they went i feel like that is a key bit of information that would be of great importance in use you would assume they got away perhaps i need to replay that bit but I, again i don't really think i'm going to see anything new there uh, as far as i can tell so 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 i kind of would hope that this would lead to more things <laughs> i'm a, a little bit perturbed that it may well have not led to much more at all however what can we see maybe you know maybe i'm beginning around this the whole wrong way maybe we need to we don't need to go through the story we need to look at the details you know the detail is in the details or something like that and what i may well be uh assuming here is looking through some of our mates we could then use the mate status to find their stewards now paul moss uh he's a very famous guy on the ship we don't know who killed him so that's why he's not filled in and to be honest i don't think we're going to know who killed him because i think it's the russian bearded guy uh, that we are a bit unsure about um but what i'm what i'm trying to say to you here is that using some of these uh these uh, steward sort of connections we may well be able to and you know I'm, I'm not giving you any promises here but we might well be able to pick out some of these people that we might know who they are and then through the powers and the supreme reasoning of deduction we will be able to pick out the connections between them now i'm not going to say this is a given but you know it, it might happen it might well happen um, so the first thing is we need to find some mates. So the first mate here, uh, I think he's all done to be fair, isn't he? The first mate, we know that his steward is Paul. Uh, where is he? The first mate, old uh, Billy Oscuts. We know exactly who he is. And we know that the first mate had a guy called Paul. Now Paul, he was killed with a sword. He was trying to defend in the escape that's when he died he got stabbed by the russian guy uh you know we assuming he's russian it is a bit of a jump but maybe we could throw a name in there and see if it pulls out now it's, it's a dirty tactic but you know sometimes sometimes you have got to sort of throw names at people because i mean if you look at the brothers for instance there's only two brothers how are we supposed to know which one Brennan was and which one was old Samuel Peters? You know, what I'm saying here is sometimes if you've narrowed it down to a few, is it really guessing? Is it cheating to sort of throw a few names and then see which one gives you the, the achievements and the, uh, the pop-ups? You know, you, you've got pretty close to it. I mean, if you did it through the whole thing, then it's a bit dirty. But I'm of the opinion that if you've narrowed it down to a you know a few nationalities of the same of, in the same group, then you know maybe that's not unreasonable. And uh, shout out Mabba. Mabba is the monkey man. That's uh, we'll see about it. We'll see about it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not certain, but that's just a little shout out early on. The monkey man is probably the one I'm most looking forward to getting right. Once I get him done. I almost feel like I could complete the game right there, to be honest, because it's such a huge one. Um, the unknowns are still giving me a little bit of uh, grief. I'm, I'm a bit confused as to why they haven't got a number and why they're just not there at all. This unknown officer here as well, for instance, it's, it's all a bit confusing for me, I've got to say. Dramatic music. Okay, so... Where are we? So we've just gone through and we've got the second, the first mate, sorry, the first mate, which is this guy here. The second mate, old Eddie Nichols. So Eddie Nichols, I mean, these guys have got to be, I mean, this was a guess as well, wasn't it, to be fair? 
Are we going to say that these are the mates? I mean, these guys are around in the first mate, the third mate, and the second mate. I mean, how many more mates do you need? If you're the, you know, you're the sum of the three or four people around you, then you know you've done pretty well, old old Robbie Witchrolls, because these are some fine young gentlemen. But the question we're all, we're all asking ourselves here is: surely the stewards will be around this region as well? You would have thought. So, I mean, if this is the first mate steward over here, the third mate steward over there, maybe, just maybe, we've got some more stewards in this region. And maybe these guys aren't midshipmen, except for this guy who absolutely is. You know, it's all a, all a bit of a confusing sort of a mess of information. You've got the bosun over here, uh, another seaman. The carpenter, an unknown. I mean, maybe he is the unknown officer. Maybe he this. Because I mean, we've we've never really uh, never figured out who he could be. Which is, uh, you know, it's always been a, a point of great contention as to who he might be. This geezer as well could very well be a Chinese guy, as we've said many times before. Can we go through all four of them? I mean, we've just done... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We we said it was dirty, but if, we, if it was dirty, then why don't I feel bad? I feel no guilt at all. Third mate steward. The midshipman. You love to see it. You love to see it. You just got to cycle through them sometimes, you know. You've just got to sort of you got to throw your throw your your money into the air and see what you can grab. It's a little bit like uh, playing the famous game Crystal Maze. Sometimes you just get silver notes, but sometimes you get those golds. And ladies and gentlemen, we just got some sweet golds then. Now this is the kind of video that we've all been waiting for. Let's be fair to ourselves. You know, this is this is why we you know we watch these sort of. Um, watch these things is we want to see you want to see moments like that in the previous episode there were not enough moments like that and you know that's just it's just a beautiful thing to see isn't it you know it's you take it aback by it sometimes just to see the uh, the, the sheer excitement and, uh, and just disbelief that you just absolutely nailed it so oh lads 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 another realization Another realization. You're gonna love me for this one. You're gonna love it. This is just, this is just deduction at its finest. So let's go through and let's go back to see the glossary because baby, the glossary is uh the glossary is where it's at. So you may well have realized the connection that I've just made. The helmsman. Let's let's read this out to everybody. The rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel and general moment-to-moment -moment navigation. Now, you know. I don't need to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Let's look at life at sea. Let's see. What's that? What's that he's got his hand on? You, like, you guessed it. You bloody well guessed it. It is the ship's wheel. Now, sadly, that hasn't triggered anything else. But, you know, if you've just come off a, a three guess a win, then you can't expect the, every, every sort of a guess to fall with a reveal. But, nevertheless... We've just pulled off some absolute beautiful moments just there. So we've got a couple of midshipmen. This guy here, we've gone for a midshipman as well. I mean, the midshipmen, these guys like to stick together. And uh, maybe because they wear in the exact same clothes and they almost look identical. Centre parting Thomas Lank. I think, I think we're right in saying that is almost a certainty, unless it's the unknown midshipman. That I've clicked just in case it triggered it and I'm going to swiftly go back to this so we're going to just see where he perished again just to be certain that okay so he was the one that got stabbed by what we assume is uh, the fourth mate so looking back over here fourth mate is this the geezer what we think it is uh, I don't even know where he is on a second there geezers Old lads, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Not him. Not him. I think it's him. 
the gunner's mate. So that's the one that we pulled away. Okay, okay. So I think this is the sabotage that the previous All Might Mush did in episode uh, 10. Some of the the undoings of the good work that the previous All Might Mush had done. We said that this guy was the fourth mate. Uh, we he get he gets his head blown off in the escape, and we think that he. Well, I mean, we know that he killed that other guy um, who stabbed and crawled or crawled away. There's no there's no question about that at all. But as we know, the previous one was he was getting desperate. He hadn't had a win like that for a while, so he was you know he was throwing he was throwing things in the air and hoping for the best. Um, not gonna lie, there was not much behind that. I just assumed uh, it might come off for us. Uh, so this guy, the bosun's mate, he got torn apart. So it wouldn't have been him. He got uh, clumped in the old head. So that wouldn't be him. So I mean, you're not gonna be a steward and get a hat like that, surely. I mean, he's. I still think an unknown officer for this guy, or. Something a bit tasty. The fourth mate, that's the guy that we've just put in there, I think. The fourth mate, John Davies. Why did we think he was John Davies, actually? Well, I think I might well be going back to episode 10, All White Must Territory here. But there are still a few unknowns on the mates. I mean, the third mates, it's like that famous saying third mates flock together. I mean, they're right next to each other. I mean, what more do you need? Uh, Paul Moss. You know what? Previous All White Mush, you know, he threw some answers out there. This All White Mush. Gonna do the same. <laughs> no, that didn't come off for us. That didn't come off for us. So, what we're gonna do, what we're going to do now is we're gonna go back to the, the memory where the memory where the guys were playing the Russian guys were playing cards and this happened in the cold uh, the bitter cold to be precise now if you if you take your mind back there were some um, some great Slavs that were playing a, a little game of cards that I think didn't happen here it might have happened here now we need to figure out who's involved. We know this guy was here. This guy here fell overboard. Hold on a second. Sorry, sorry. This guy here was shot by Emily Jackson. And not only that, but he killed Paul. It seems as though we shouldn't know who he is. But, you know, if I taken that on board before with some of the great guesses that I've pulled off previously then maybe I wouldn't shoot my shot at this but I drank about half of this gin now and you know what I'm feeling a little bit ballsy so we're gonna go back to this memory we're gonna go back to this memory and 22 other people were present okay so <laughs> it's a long shot in some ways but if we can see him around the table then I am going to strongly assume that all of those people were Russian. And I might even be tempted to throw names at them to see and then go through their other memories, perhaps. You know, it's it's a bit of a it's, it's a bit of a cheeky uh, assumption to think that I can even do such a thing, but I do think this may well be the way forward. Now, Wei Li, Wei Li, we know who Wei Li is. Now, what we could then assume from here is there are some missing Chinese guys. Uh, we, I'm trying to think back to where some Chinese guys might pop up, but we'll keep that in the background. We'll bookmark that thought. I would use the bookmarks in the game, but, you know, I don't want to cheat. I don't want to make it too easy for myself. I, uh, you know, if, if I'd use the bookmarks, maybe we'd be done by now, to be fair. Who knows? Who bloody well knows? But anyway, what we need to do is we need to find the body. Now the body is definitely not up there, but there should be a, a, a young man who is on a level 
that is not this one. This is the crab level. It's sometimes known, yeah. It's mm, maybe this one. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, we don't need to hear this. Because the music's going to completely drown it out. Uh, so, again. So, this guy. This guy. I, I felt like I couldn't have done this before, but now. Now I'm going to start throwing names around. You might not like it. You might be upset with what I'm, I'm sort of uh, going for here. I'm starting to, to be a little bit concerned the fact that there are more than three Indian guys. But when one of them is the ship steward, so maybe. Just maybe. So we, let's just count up our Indians. There are three. Three and another one over there. So do we know one of them already? Syed. We know Syed. And he isn't Syed. So. I take it back. I take it back. We we are... Um, we are actually not as badly placed as I thought. The ship steward, I think we can ignore. I don't think he's part of this crew. These guys are just basic seamen. And... Um, you know, as, as a basic seaman, <laughs> that never gets old. Uh, as a basic seaman, you ain't going to be up top, I'm afraid. You're on the bench. We've got Admiral Akbar just there. And I'm not, I'm not, we're not kidding ourselves here. We're throwing names around. We are throwing names around because we're not sure. So he's currently old uh, Willy Wassim. But Willy is not Willy Rasim because he's Renfrew Rajab. Now, the, maybe the purists out there are not happy with what I'm doing. However, the helmsman, the helmsman was inspired. Renfrid Rajab. And of course, Abraham Akbar. And of course, another three. I think that's 30. I think we are. Oh, that's got to be halfway or thereabouts, surely. I mean, that was an achievement popped up for that. That was. We're in the big boy leagues now. We are the, the Poirot of the ship guessing world. Now, 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 now. Where are we? So, I mean, we're just absolutely killing it in this episode. This episode is putting right. The misery of episode 10. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I am doubting myself a little bit of the way I'm going about it, but at the same time, you know, how else are you going to figure out which of these Indian guys which? It doesn't tell you the names. They're all the same rank. Uh, you know, I think throwing a few guesses out there, you know, it's, it's, it's the nature of the sport, you know, it's like sort of uh, time wasting in football, you know, you it, it, it's not pretty, it's not the nicest thing to sort of uh, to witness, but